Have you been struggling to launch your program or your offer because no one knows you exist? Or if they do know you exist, they're still not paying you any attention? Well, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to give you three strategies to increase your brand visibility and awareness online. Hey friend, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brianna Johnson and I am a launch and marketing strategist. I help my clients position their expertise, prime their audience, and plan profitable five-figure launches. And today, I'm so excited to teach you proven strategies to get more brand visibility and awareness online. These are the exact same strategies that my clients have been able to use to do major incredible things, like be featured in national publications like Oprah and Pop Sugar, work with their dream clients and be seen as industry experts. So if this sounds like anything that you are interested in, that you wanna see happen in your business, then stay tuned because we are about to get this party started. So the number one strategy that we want to increase your brand awareness and visibility is going to be collaboration. Collaboration is when you work with someone who is complementary to your industry. Basically what that means is, they are someone who your ideal clients will either work with before or after or alongside working with you. A good example of this is, let's say you're a graphic designer and you design websites. You know that in order for your clients to work with you, they need to work with a copywriter, they may need to get photos from a photographer, they may even need to work with a videographer and a stylist. All of these experts are complementary to the work that you do. So when you are looking to expand your reach, expand your visibility, and expand your brand awareness, you want to tap into those experts so that way you can get in front of their audiences because they are also going to want to eventually expand and work with you as well. So by pitching to teach or to train on complimentary platforms, basically what you do is you penetrate your expertise into a community of other ideal clients who have not yet connected with you or who have or who do not yet know about you. And this is one of the best ways to expand your reach but in a targeted way because you end up working with people who will be seeking or who have already sought off services like yours. Another way to increase your collaboration is to ask those experts to come and to teach or to train on your platform. And the reason that this works is because when they come to your platform, they may mention it to their audience like, hey, I went and I taught this training um, on Embryanka's Clarity to Coins program. And it was such a wonderful program. I really loved her students. It was so great. Go check her out. So now that person's, that expert's audience is coming to see what it is that you are doing and why you're so great that they felt compelled to go and teach and train on your platform. So I want you to understand that the collaboration works both ways. It's not only about going to go speak on someone else's platform, but it could also mean bringing that expert to come and teach or speak or train on your platform as well. You may even wanna look into establishing an affiliate marketing program. And basically what this means is that when people who refer you, they end up getting a commission if someone uses their link or mentions their name to work with you or join one of your programs or your offers. And this works really well, especially when you are collaborating with complimentary service providers who are sharing your content either on their blog or their YouTube channel or their podcast, etc. And so if their audience is listening to this podcast or they're listening to this YouTube channel and they're like, oh my gosh, she sounds so smart. I think I want to work with her. And they go and they click that link. This person now is brought back to you. So you win, but then the person who referred them either through their channel or through their podcast or their YouTube channel, et cetera, they also receive an affiliate commission. So it's a win-win. So collaboration is one of the easiest and the best ways to build your audience because you also are furthering your goal of building relationships, not just with your audience, but with other industry experts 
and it is a rewarding experience to be able to share your knowledge and share your expertise across platforms, not just yours, but across other platforms where your ideal clients and your ideal audience is already engaging in consuming content. The second way in which you can expand your brand awareness and visibility is by sharing content consistently. And I know how hard that is, um, especially with all of the tools, with all of the platforms that we have out here and really being, you know, just confused or feeling like, oh, how do I stay consistent? What do I talk about? What do I share, et cetera. But when you are able to leverage content consistently, you're able to build momentum to your offers. You're able to be a resource for your ideal clients and they trust you more because they're coming back time and time again and seeing that you are showing up and you are delivering for them. So some of the ways that you can create content that, exp that expands your brand awareness and your visibility online is simply by sharing your polarizing ideas. What do you think or what do you do that is different from other experts in your industry? A good example is that when I first started really marketing my business, one of my polarizing views was that I did not think that webinars were a good idea. At the time, everyone was doing webinars because it was during COVID, but only the people who I saw who were getting major success or major traction from their webinars were people who had major, large audiences. My ideal clients, primarily service providers, coaches, and experts who have less than 10,000 followers, they were not seeing a major trend of successful webinars because they did not have a nurtured or a primed audience. And so because I started speaking about that, a lot of my ideal clients started magnetizing themselves to my content because they felt seen. They felt like I had tried this webinar and it did not work for me. And you are the first person to say that it's not going to work and that you have a solution, right? That you have a solution that instead will work better for me, or you have strategies that instead will work better for me. So it's not just about, you know, penetrating this platform with your polarizing ideas, but it's also about using those polarizing ideas to position your solution, to position your offer. So that's one way in which you can use content to increase your brand awareness and visibility. Um, and it is a really good way because it also positions your expertise, which I talked about in the last video, and I'm going to link it here. Some other ways to use content to expand your brand awareness and visibility is to basically share your story and share the transformation of your offer. So continuously share the behind the scenes of how you are building your business. Continuously share, you know, what your offer is, what um, the pain points are of your ideal clients who need this offer, what their desires are, what objections they may be combating, and really use your content to nurture your audience to really understand that this is an offer that I need. And maybe I didn't realize that I always needed it, but because Brianka keeps talking about it and she's sharing stories around it and she's sharing her clients who have gotten results from this offer. Now I'm like, dang, I need this too. So also don't forget that using your own content, using hashtags, using um, tagging people, like let's say you, um, you find someone who is an industry expert and they say something or they share a piece of content that is really related to your industry and really in alignment with your thought leadership. Maybe you share that content and you tag them and you give your viewpoint on why you agree with it or how you implement this type of thinking into your own business. And what it does is you validate another industry expert, but you also are acknowledging them. And so that way when they share it, now you're penetrating their audience as well. So it's always about thinking about how can you bring this person's audience back to your platform and get them to find value in your content. So if you're not sharing content consistently, then none of these strategies are going to work in your favor because when, even when you penetrate these other platforms and you bring them back to your audience, you're not going to be able to serve up consistent value for that audience if you're not being consistent. So I want you to understand that consistency is key. Do not be discouraged just because you feel like, well, I've been posting content and I've been doing the things, but I'm not seeing the result and it's been three days. Like it's going to take a little bit longer than that. So just be consistent. Let that snowball get big as it's rolling down the hill and grow that momentum. You know, really focus on those collaborations. 
focus on using those collaborations in connection with your content and really think about how you're going to use this content to position your expertise and to prime your audience because I want you to understand that all of these things are working together. They are not isolated. They do not work alone. You have to be doing all of these things at the same time in order to increase your brand awareness, increase your brand visibility, and grow your business. So I want you to just even think about it right now. You know, head over into the comments and let me know what polarizing ideas or viewpoints can you share with your audience and content right now that will position you as an expert and really increase your brand awareness and visibility because your ideal clients will feel like, dang, this person sees me, they understand me, and I agree with this, I want to work with them. So let me know what that polarizing viewpoint or that polarizing idea is in the comments and let's chat about it. And the third way to grow your brand awareness and visibility is through connection. So a lot of times we think that just because we have a business, just because we have an idea that people should buy into it, but that's really not how it works. A lot of times when we are seeing momentum, when we're seeing our ideal clients buy into our offers, it's because we have consistently created these relationships with our audience, created this connection where they are not only just consuming our content, but they're seeking it out because they know that, oh, dang, Brianca is my friend. Brianca feels like my homie. I really know her, et cetera. But your audience can't feel that way about you unless you deepen that connection with you. So some ways to do that are to reply to your comments when your when your ideal clients or when your audience is engaging in your comments. Don't just ghost them. Don't just feel like, oh, I'm too cool to reply to these comments. Um, I'm going to just let them comment up under here and I'm going to be quiet. Don't do that. You know, really engage with them. You know, engage even with your ideal client's content before they come to you. So if you recognize that someone online would be a really good fit for your program, you know, watch their stories, like their content, provide value to them even before they become an ideal client because that is one of the ways in which you can continuously build trust. And one of the things that I that I like to do that I learned recently from my business bestie is turning my followers into champions. So if you have been in this business long enough, then you know that there are sometimes just going to be stragglers who they want to work with you, but they are either working through some mindset challenges or they are saving up or they are trying to convince themselves that you are the best person to work with them. But I don't want you to be discouraged by that. Instead, what I want you to do is turn those people into champions for your business. Ask them to share your content. Ask them to comment, to like, to answer your questions when you do polls and when you do sticker tabs and things like that. Like Get them involved in helping to disseminate and spread the word of your message and of your business because they like you so much, because they're saving up to work with you, etc. So I want to, I just want to reiterate that the three ways to build brand awareness and brand visibility online are through collaboration, content, and connection. So using these three C's all in tangent, using them together will help you not only just penetrate new audiences, but nurture those audiences through your content and convert those um, audiences through your connection with them, through your relationships. So if you like this video, if you like these strategies and you want to learn more about how to increase your brand awareness and increase your brand brand visibility online, then click the link below and sign up for the Profitable People program. I am so excited. It's a 90-day membership. You're going to love it. So get all of the details by clicking the link below. And if you found this content valuable, like this video and subscribe to the channel. You can click the bell to be notified every Wednesday when a new video drops. I'd also love to connect with you on Instagram. So screenshot this video and let me know how you liked it, how it helped you and how it served you. And last but not least, don't forget to head on over into the comments and let me know what your polarizing idea or your polarizing viewpoint for your industry is. I would love to chat with you more about it. Until next time, I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.